What are you hoping to get out of it, Sam? Um, it's obviously great to see everyone that we sort of haven't been able to catch up with since the draft. So to see all those players that you played with and against over the journey, and then um, already at the start we um, had a speech from Joe Montagna and um, sort of talked about the ups and downs of AFL football and what to expect and how the Players Association can help us on this journey that's hopefully a good ride for us. How's the first six weeks of, of, of being an AFL player been like for you? Yeah, it's been unreal. I've loved every minute of it really and couldn't ask for a better club to welcome me and um, the training that we've been doing um, has been great and I feel like I'm improving every day, which is what I want to get out of it and I'm starting to feel really settled, which is good. Are there a few things, Sam, that have caught you unexpected? Yeah, it's not un unexpected. I sort of felt like I was pretty prepared coming in, but it's backing it up every day is sort of um, how you improve, but it also is a bit of a grind at times. Um, but I've been loving it, and you just always got to make sure you're on your game and wanting to improve. You're all set on round one? Yeah, that's that's a goal for me, and obviously that's still a long way away, and there's um, things to be ticked off before then. But I think that that's sort of the motivation towards training and wanting to get better, and then hopefully I'll reach that goal. How have you learned to, to break out of the grind so it doesn't become such a chore? Yeah, yeah I think the, um, I sort of I lo love that day-to-day -day stuff, but you've got to recover well, otherwise it all catches up to you. And um, if you want to be out on the track all the time, then it's those little things that help you achieve that. Have you worked closely with anyone? Have you sort of started up to Patrick Cripps and sort of followed him around? Yeah, I've been lucky at Carlton. Everyone's been great um, in terms of getting around me and especially that young midfield group. We've all been working really well together. Um, early on, I was lucky enough to live with Paddy Cripps, um, Zach Fisher and Darcy Lang and they've been huge helps just to get a feel for what AFL life is like and um, the things outside of the club that you do. And then obviously Bolts and the midfield coaches have been great for helping me learn and watching footage of training so you can get as much out as you put in, which is something that I've noticed straight away. What are the biggest things that you've learned? Yeah, I think definitely um, the sort of how, how much it takes you at AFL level with your craft work and just little things that sort of make you a well-rounded player. And even after training, they'll go in and watch footage and watch little things with them. So um, just being very professional with everything they do. I know it's your first year, but do you have a lot of leadership, leadership aspirations um, this season? Yeah, especially at Carlton, it's, there's a lot of talk about everyone's a leader of the group and um, we set standards off each other. And, um, that's how, how we've got to get to and with a really young group you feel like you can have input and then learn off others. We've got a lot of great leaders at the club so to learn off them at the start is sort of be more of a learning role than trying to be an out there leader myself. Where is your child Matt? What sort of position? Yeah so to, I've done a lot of my training in the midfield um, and we sort of haven't got into much match simulation stuff yet but I think it'll be a mix of inside and outside mid. From a Bell PA perspective, what's this couple of days, mate? Well, I think for us it's just about making sure the players understand the opportunities and come and enjoy the game uh, and the opportunities the AFL PA can provide to support their career on and off field. So for us it's helping them understand um, the importance of having an identity away from the game, pursuing you know educational opportunities, uh, understanding their finances and empowering them to navigate their career when, they're, when, they're, when that time comes and it finishes as well. What's the biggest challenge of a player of Sam's age coming into the game now? Well, I think it's the intensity of being in training. Um, the, there's, there's, a, there's large physical capability requirements in the first sort of six to 12 months. So getting across that at a time of uh, also understanding the, the increased expectation and pressure that comes with playing. So that's for us why we also want to make sure the players are focused on opportunities outside the game to, uh, to, to give them some perspective away from it. Just on that increase on field, but there's increase off field too. Do you, do you feel that as well? Incre increase just in their pressures off the field. Yeah, I think there is. I think you know, it's, it's it's a wonderful opportunity that, that, that they've got in front of them. That it's, there's expectations to perform. Obviously, when you come and drafted, and um, you know, as I say, we want to make sure the players maximise that time on field, but also are really well prepared for when they uh, they're going to they have to leave the game as well. Can you give us an indication of some of the key areas these guys will be learning about today? Well, today we we want to make sure the players understand um, that there's more to life than just being a footballer, um, where they can access support from the AFLPA in their journeys of educational, you know, pursuing educational opportunities, understanding and empowering them to understand their finances, and, and particularly hearing from players that have been before them, uh, lessons learned from them on the journey and, and where where they they maximise their time in the game. Social media has perhaps never been bigger. Um, every player is on it. To educate them about that. I think we, you know, the AFLPA works closely with the clubs as well in that space to, to teach 
you know, the players the opportunity that comes with social media and then how to man manage the, the expectations that come from it as well. Thank you. Thanks, boys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Cheers. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.